why did Allah create human beings when he was knowing that on the day of judgment a large number of people will go to hell, Jahannam? Does it not raise the question on the mercy of Allah? Does Allah purposely want to keep, wants to put a large number of people in hell? No, Allah. The question is that why did Allah create the human beings and he knew that on the day of judgment a large number will go to hell? The human being is a unique and one of the best creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Unlike the other creations, all the other creations, they submit the will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they obey subhanahu wa ta'ala 100%, whether it be the trees, whether it be the stars, whether it be the sun, whether it be the animals, whether it be the birds, all of them are Muslim, they submit the will to Allah. Allah created two creations, the jinn and the men, the jinn and the human being. And the human being is a superior creation that they have a free will of their own. They can either obey Allah or they can disobey Allah. Now after free will is given, if a person obeys the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, obeys and follows the Quran and the Sahih Hadith, he is far superior than a person who has no free will and he obeys the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So a human being who has a choice of his own, has a free will to obey or disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then if he follows the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is higher even than the angels. Or the angels have no free will to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he has created a new creation. And when something you want something which is excelling or of a higher quality, the chance of success rate is less. For example, if you appear for an examination of 10 standard, you find that most of them pass. When you go to bachelor's degree, yet most, most of them passed, but lesser as compared to 10 standard. If you appear for an MBBS degree, the percentage of passing the exam is lesser than people passing the bachelors in arts or in science. If you go for MD or DM, that is the doctorate of medicine, again, the percent of people who chant, who pass, is less than the percent of people who fail. Because it's a very difficult examination. So here also, this is the test that we are undergoing. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given a free will. It is not Allah who is purposely putting them in Jahannam, is giving them the option. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful. And he says that you ask for forgiveness, I'll forgive you. And Ramadan is one of the months. That you ask for forgiveness, Allah will forgive you. If you do any sin, major sin, any, let it be how big the sin is. Let it be as big as a mountain. If you ask for forgiveness and if you repent, inshallah, Allah will forgive you. But we human beings, we are ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We do a mistake, we ask for forgiveness, Allah forgives us and we go back to the sin. So this is the test we are undergoing. As Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 85, that Kullu nafsin every soul shall have a taste of death. And only those who are successful, who, are, who achieve the objectives of the life, is those who enter Jannah. This life is nothing but mere play and amusement. Allah says in Surah Mul, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allah is khalaqal mawta wal hayata. Uh, it is Allah who has created death and life to test which of his good deeds. So this life is a test for the hereafter. Allah is most merciful. He is very kind. We are a unique creation, one of the best creation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are undergoing a test. Imagine if in an examination, in a medical examination, a person writes the wrong answer. You can't ex expect the teacher to say, oh, I'm merciful, I will pass you. If the teacher passes the people in the medical examination, what will they do? When they pass, instead of treating the patient, they will start killing them. So you have to follow the rule, even though you are merciful, you have to see what the result of the test are, and based on that test, if you pass, you go to Jannah, if you fail, you go to Jannah. Hope that answers the question.